Hi and welcome to Free Edu Hub. As you know, we are covering a course on network security and penetration testing. With that, we are taking another course which is on data integrity and security. Now we covered in our previous lectures in our course on data integrity and security that uh, why MySQL is very important, uh, why do we use it, and uh, what are the benefits of it. Just to explain it in a nutshell, MySQL is a free open source database which is mostly used for web applications. Now since we are concerned about data integrity and security, uh, we'll have to understand that why is it very important to have a very complex password on your MySQL server. Now just mind that it's an educational course, we'll be penetrating from our uh, Kali Linux to our Windows 11 virtual machine where we have installed MySQL as you, see, as you can see on our screen that MySQL is installed on this server and if I'll enter the password I can connect to my SQL database. If I'll open my SQL workbench I'll be able to uh, connect to my MySQL database with the username and password. Uh, since it's not a very complex password we'll try to um, penetrate in this MySQL database using our Kali Linux uh, uh, machine and for that we'll be using Hydra today. Now it's an educational course kindly don't use the tactics that we are teaching in this course for anything other than the academic purposes. The sole purpose of this video is to let you know that how easy it is in order to penetrate in the databases if you're not having a very difficult password. Um, so we have a password for this uh, MySQL database and uh, uh, once we are connected to it uh, you can go to the schemas and uh, you can see that we don't have any tables on our uh, virtual machine which is Windows 11 where we have installed MySQL database. Now today we are using Kali Linux which is the latest version of 2022 and on the other hand we have uh, uh, Windows 11 um, having MySQL Workbench 8 and MyS uh, MySQL database. Now before you will proceed uh, you can see that I am running uh, Windows 11 as well as Kali Linux simultaneously on my virtual machine. You'll have to make certain modifications uh, to it. Uh, you'll have to install Windows 11 uh, by downloading the uh, free educational version of uh, Windows 11 which is available on their website. I'll leave the link in the description. For Kali Linux I have downloaded the uh, VirtualBox version of uh, Kali Linux operating system available on their website. I'll uh, post the links for that also in the description. Once that's done, we'll have to work on the network settings of it. And as you can see that I have selected the option as host only adapter so that only these two machines would be talking to each other. And uh, we'll show that uh, both are talking to each other and we are able to communicate with them. Second thing which I did is that I have shared a folder on my G drive so that whatever I'm sharing on my Windows 11, uh, those files would be shared uh, with Windows 11 and uh, Kali Linux operating system. Same things over here. If I'll go to the settings and I'll go to uh, the network settings, it's a host only adapter and uh, we'll be able to do that. Now how to install Windows 11 and how to install Kali Linux, full videos of those are available on our channel. You can follow those. Even a full tutorial on VirtualBox is available. We are using this VirtualBox software in order to virtualize multiple operating systems on our machine. So uh, as you can see that I have these two operating systems running in parallel and if I will try to find the uh, IP address of my machine uh, you'll type uh, CMD and uh, once you are in CMD you'll type IPCONFIG IP config and it would show you the IP address of your Windows 11 machine. On the other hand if you want to check the IP address of your uh, Kali Linux operating system you'll click on this terminal window it would open and you'll type if config and press enter you can see 192.168.56.102 and here we have 192.168.56.101 now we need to make sure that both machines are talking to each other so we'll ping 192.168.56.102 which is the IP address of our Kali Linux machine, press enter and you'll be able to see that it's responding to the request. Uh, likewise, if 
we'll ping uh, 101, which is the IP address of our uh, Windows 11 virtual machine. Uh, we'll type the IP address and we'll enter. So you can see that there is a connectivity between these two machines. Now, just to verify again that our MySQL database is running, as you can see, I'm connected to it and I'll provide my password for MySQL and it's connected. Now, we'll be focusing on our Windows 11, uh, we'll be focusing on our Kali Linux operating system and we'll try to understand that how can we penetrate from this uh, operating system to our Windows 11 machine where we are working, where we are running uh, MySQL uh, database. Now for that, uh, first of all, try to understand that we will be using Hydra and in order to run different commands, it's better to run the terminal window with elevated privileges, which is the root terminal on Kali Linux. You'll provide your root password and uh, you'll be authenticated over here. Now, uh, we'll have to check first of all that if Hydra is installed on this machine or not. Just press Hydra and enter. If you can see it, you it means that it is installed on this machine. Now, if I'll say Hydra and then I'll enter minus H, it would show me the syntax if we want to check on any other computer, if we want to penetrate for the username and passwords, and we want to test it, how can we do it? Uh, there are some preloaded word lists available on Kali Linux with the help of which we try to penetrate the passwords. Now if you go to the uh, file manager on our Linux operating system, you'll have to click on file system, then you can go to users and you can go to share and here you'll have to search for word lists uh, here and you can see that we have rockyou.txt uh, which would be used by Hydra. Uh, so it is at the moment in the zip format. So in order to extract it, uh, we'll have to open it with elevated privileges. As you can see, if I'll try to extract it over here, it won't let me do it because uh, we don't have permissions in this folder. Uh, try to extract and you can see that there is a problem in extraction. So what we'll do is that we'll close it and we'll right click on this file uh, system and write and select the option as open as root. It would ask you uh, the password for it and you will provide the password for your root and it would let you now log in to the same folder with admin privileges. It's written you are using a root account, you may harm your system. Now uh, go to the user, then go to share and then again we'll go to the word lists and now this time if we'll right click on it and we'll say that extract here it would extract the file as a txt file which we'll use in hydra in order to crack the password of our mysql server now since uh, uh, this is the txt file we'll delete the uh, zip file and uh, you have the rocky file over here now once we are there and we have extracted the uh, Rockyou text file, now we'll have to check the exact port and other things if they are working on our target machine which is Windows 11. So in order to check there, that we will use nmap, nmap and then we'll type the port which is uh, uh, 3306 for MySQL server and we'll enter the IP address of our target machine which is 192.168.56.101 and we'll just press minus VVV just to make sure that it's silent. Now as you can see that it has scanned it and it told us that it's running on our virtual machine on this port 192.168.56.11 time to live the port is open and my sql for synac and it is ready for attack it means that there is no protection on the my sql server there are no firewalls running and it is reachable so that our uh, kali linux operating system can see uh, the machine on which we have mysql installed now we'll try to see how can we attack our mysql server over here so let's call the uh, word list that we have so we'll type hydra minus l in order to list the files the username for our mysql when we installed it on the server was admins 
uh, you can use admins or root uh, depends what kind of password was set it up when we were configuring this mysql server usually it's used as root but since i have configured with with admin so i'm using the admins we'll go to user directory then share word list and rocku.txt and then we'll give the address of our remote mysql server once that's done press enter now it would continue checking against the passwords which are there in rocku.txt and once it would find the password it would stop over there and it would show us as you can see that admins password has been found as abcd1234 so if we want to connect and check it on our windows 11 machine where we have installed mysql server uh, we'll open the workbench and we'll try to enter the same password if it works since it's using root so uh, let's try to create a new connection over here and uh, name it as admins and instead of username as root let's press admins and test connection it would ask for the password and uh, let's try to enter this password as abcd1234 press ok and there you go we are successfully connected using admins1234 so that was an educational course where we tried to understand that why difficult passwords are important you can find a list of leaked passwords or the commonly used passwords on the internet that's what hackers do that they try to get all those leaked and uh, known passwords which are used for different things and if you're using one of those passwords it's highly likely that your mysql server will be compromised so that explains it that we must have a very difficult password for our mysql server that's it for today thank you very much